what is up you guys this is JP coming at you with another video I really hope you guys liked the last video that was actually um, well not surprisingly because you can tell from the way that my prior videos and my shitty editing was uh, my last video that I uploaded on I think it was the 16th um, the last video before this one was actually my first video shot and edited by somebody else so I really hope you guys like that approximately about half my videos 33% to half my videos 33 to 50% of my videos are gonna be shot um, and edited now um, from someone other than me so they are gonna be of higher quality I really hope you guys like that if you do comment down below let me know what you think um, today's video is going to be why strength is important for hypertrophy or gaining muscle um, a lot of people try to separate the two um, uh, from each other in regards to training and just the way they think about strength and hypertrophy you may say i've heard people say oh I, you know i don't train for strength i i just train to look good i want to get bigger muscles or um something along those lines or or they'll just flat out say you know directly that you know oh strength has no impact on hypertrophy um you know you know training to look good you know it's completely different from strength it's not the same thing when uh, it's not, that's not true. Um, strength and hypertrophy are not even really in the same category. They're different. And th those differences, uh, in those differences uh, uh, are, you know, facts where strength can actually help you gain muscle. Um, so just to kind of simply define them, strength is being strong in a specific exercise or a lift. And that sounds very vague, but there are different types of strength. But for this video, I'm just going to kind of simplify it and say that strength means that you can, for most people, it means you lift heavy weight in very few repetitions or one single repetition, a la powerlifting. You know, if you see someone squat a lot of weight one time, you're going to see, wow, that guy's really strong. Um, now, if someone squats 135 100 times, you're not going to say that guy's strong. You're going to say, wow, he has a lot of endurance, you know. Because 135 is not really a lot of weight uh, for most people. Um, so that's what I mean by strength. So strength is specific to a lift and it's about how much weight you can move, you know, a few times or one time. Um, now that's very simplified version of strength, but we're just gonna keep it there for this video. Now hypertrophy is not tied to a specific lift. Or hypertrophy means, you know, uh, uh, getting bigger muscles, um, getting jacked is not tied to a specific lift. You can get a big chest from multiple different exercises. So hypertrophy is just a, res uh, a response our body gets when you apply a proper stimulus, which is working out, and you recover from that st stimulus, which is eating right and sleeping. You, you know, so if you put a specific stimulus on a muscle, like working out, and then you go home, you eat healthy food and you eat the right foods, and then you get a good night's sleep consistently over time, you're going to uh, get, you know, you're gonna get jacked. Now, again, there's certain, you know, you go more in depth where you have to have progressive overload, um, all that good stuff, you know, you need, to, you need to have progressive overload to keep, uh, uh, to keep gaining muscle. Um, and over time, your, your volume, your, your volume over your training age should increase, you know, volume should increase over time. Uh, but we're not going to get into that. So essentially, again, the keynote here is that hypertrophy, you know, is not tied to a specific exercise and that you should have some form of progression over time with hypertrophy, um, as in, you know, any, any, any goal you have in fitness. So again, that, that's the main concept, though. So strength and hypertrophy. Now, when you train for strength, for someone who's going to apply tra strength training for hypertrophy training, the main benefits that you get are that when you can lift more weight for a few repetitions or or maximally just in one repetition when your one rep max goes up or your two rep max goes up or your three rep max goes up your squat whatever it is whatever exercise it is your sub rep maximum is going to go up as well think about it like this someone who has a 400 pound squat and someone who has a 250 pound squat this person, 70% of this person's one rep max is going to be a lot higher than 70% of this person's one rep max. So if you take 70% of both of those, I don't know what it is. Let's just, whatever it is. This one's gonna be a lot higher though. 70%, it's roughly around 75%. So it's gonna be just shy of 300 pounds. It's gonna be like 285 pounds or something for this person's 70% of one RM. Now this person, if they're, um, 
one rep max is 250 pounds on the squat. 70% is gonna be something around, because uh, half will be 125, maybe around 160 or 170. So two, 285 to 170, something like that. Roughly around there. Now, obviously this person's lifting a lot more sub maximum. So why I use 70% is, I know percentages don't necessarily correlate to rep ranges, but this person's bodybuilding rep range weight is going to be a lot heavier than this person's bodybuilding rep range weight. So if you are a stronger individual, your bodybuilding rep range weights, your eight to 12 repetitions, whatever weight you use for your eight to 12 reps or 12 to 15 reps is going to be heavier, which in turn means that you are going to have greater volume. You're going to be able to have more volume in the gym. And we know that volume dictates the magnitude of adaptation. Using that same example as earlier, if this person who's doing uh, uh, an eight to 12, you know, whatever with their 70%, if you calculate the volume load in that versus this person's volume load, um, this person's gonna have a much greater volume load. Now, some of you may say, well, it, as long as it's a hard set, that's all that matters. No, but what I'm trying to tell you is for you as an individual, if you do something as simple as adding one heavy set at the beginning of whatever exercise, your primary exercises for that, for that workout, let's just say you bench press that day. If you add in one heavy set of bench press, because if you didn't know, strength responds much better to peak intensity for a workout, not average intensity. So you don't need to look at the average intensity across the workout to say, well, did I get a lot stronger from, am I going to get a lot stronger from that workout? One heavy set of whatever exercise, squat or bench press, whatever you're doing for that workout can do wonders for your strength. So if you're someone who trains for hypertrophy, mainly, and you're in those higher rep ranges, you know, versus like a power lifter, if you add, if you have squat day, leg day, and you add one heavy set of, one heavy triple, for your first set, work up to one heavy triple, work, you know, pick a weight that you can do only three reps with, that you have maybe one or two reps left in the tank, two reps left or something. So an eight RPE um, for a heavy triple, you can do that with a bench press or anything. And then you can go on to your bodybuilding rep range work. I say bodybuilding rep range because it's, you know, it's just a good rep range just to accumulate volume. Um, that'll help increase your strength a lot better than if you didn't train heavy at all. And then what's gonna happen is that these, the weights that you use for your bodybuilding rep ranges are just going to go up and up and up and up and up. That's all that's going to happen and your volume load is going to increase over time and you are going to get better gains. So again, strength is important when it comes to accumulating volume and lifting heavier weights in those uh, higher rep ranges. It's very important. It shouldn't be ignored. There are a lot of other little benefits you get because I mean, who doesn't want to be stronger? If this can possibly help you gain more muscle and you can lift heavier weights, isn't that a plus? Um, for everyone, I've never met anyone who says they doesn't, they don't want to get stronger. Now, if you have some other factor in your head that's stopping you from lifting heavy, like an injury, obviously this video doesn't apply to you. But if you're someone who completely avoided lifting heavy um, because you wanted to just look jacked and you didn't think that helps you, add one single heavy, heavy triple, just one set, um, work up to it, obviously warm up to it, to whatever your primary uh, compound movement is for that day. So for back it could be a heavy uh, triple on a, a bent over a row or for squat it could be a back squat heavy triple then go into your volume work or it could be for bench press it could be a heavy triple on that and then go or it could be even even be a single a single is fine too just low rep ranges heavier weight it's going to do you wonders if you guys have any questions comments leave them down below i'll see you guys with the next video peace